Um, you all right? It was like a little stretch. That I'm I happy you're here. I've missed you. I miss you guys too. Corbin. Ashley. Or <laughs> Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Up them all. Juicy content. It's so juicy. Take it, stir it up, share it with Drink you. the filth. And share it with <laughs> and share it with your fans. Uh, and uh, I think we're just gonna to follow us on official Twitter account. Today we are reacting to another Via Doss set. Oh yeah, Have we you are. Seen Via Doss? Mm -hmm. Well, he's hilarious. He's cool. hilarious. He's really he's smart, smart. Right. insightful. He's talented. This is—he has become this one of our favorites. This is actually the same set we reacted to the other day with uh, racism. Okay. This one is actually Veer Das India and homophobia. Yes. Sweet. So uh, awesome. Got a lot. Of, are you cheering for homophobia? No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> homophobia. Yes. Right on. Am I right? Everybody. Everybody. Homophobia. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, have you not seen any? I don't know. No, she Wait, saw. She, has, she saw Deli Belly. Deli Belly. He was in Deli Belly, but you haven't seen any of his stand up. He was or the guy that was the disco guy, the disco dancer. Oh. Yeah, he's that guy. But he's he's done. He does great stand up. He has this really great speech that we reacted to. You, I need to show you that. Stuff. Here we go. has no right to call itself a progressive country until anybody in India can love who they want irrespective of race, caste, creed, or sexual orientation. Thank you for everybody in the world. That's a, that's, that's a typical... Like, I understand person. homosexuality, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm not attracted to other men, but I can see how one would be <laughs> attracted to other men. Perfect. Lots of Because I've been with numerous women who have been <laughs> but this is a crime in India, ladies and gentlemen. It is a crime. How? If it's a crime, there must be a way of investigation and a way of judgment, right? How do you judge a gay crime? Is there a trial? Order! Order! The defendant shall now be sworn in. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I don't know, man, but I gotta tell you, this is the first Gita I've ever laid hands on. <laughs> with sodomy, excessive fellatio, <laughs> flamboyance. NK flamboyance. Defendant, how do you plead? Not guilty. Are you saying you did not have sex with another man? No, I'm just saying I don't feel guilty. <laughs> Can I plead incredibly satisfied? <laughs> but it's not just sodomy. Do you know that according to 377, oral and anal are also against the law? Did you know this? Oral sex and anal sex against the law in India. Yikes. We have 1.2 billion people. <laughs> <laughs> Forget legalizing oral and anal, we should be advertising that shit. <laughs> there should be billboards with blowjobs on them. We should have anal day. Month. Uh. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. <laughs> there should be an all Agni party. <laughs> the Prime Minister should do a radio program called Bumki Bath. Every Sunday, Bumki Bath. I'm still dying over Anal Day. Oh. Oh. That's hilarious. Oh. Man. And let's talk about the whole community, not just gay men. Let's talk about LGBT. Lesbians, gays, because <laughs> as Indian men, we have no response to lesbianism, right? We just don't acknowledge its existence. After 2,000 years of educated evolution, our whole response to lesbians is just, huh? <laughs> what? Like the us lesbians are a Bluetooth headset. How do you pair the? Is there a cord? 
like the us lesbians are the iPhone 7. No Jack! <laughs> no Jack! Bad that clip was so short. I'm gonna have to watch that entire set. I uh, I missed well I I missed half of what he said because I was laughing so hard about anal day, which is <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Oh wow. man. <clears throat> yeah, man, he is funny, and he's he's the kind of comic. I thought who, he was gonna. I thought it was gonna go on. Yeah, I know it, that was so short. What was usually what? he has like something to like. He's like hilarious, hilarious, hilarious insightful. Something right at the end. Right. I don't, I don't know why they cut that part out because I'm assuming that's in there. I would assume it's in there too. I can't imagine that's the end of that segment of his set. Yeah. But again, what what we love about this guy is he's he is everything a comic should be. A comic who knows who they are uh -huh. and has something to say and takes something of truth and just and presents it. This is going to be a, a stretch, but he reminds me a lot of George Carlin in, in this respect that he talks about social issues and shares his particular viewpoint and really doesn't care what you think about his viewpoint other than he's going to share it. This is common sense and you all know it's common sense. Mm -hmm. That's what Carlin did, but Carlin did it with a bite. He did it with a pointing out how stupid everybody is. And I don't care if you know, he was just was this dark, biting. Rough. And when you got <laughs> to know him, you actually knew he was doing it because he cares so much. And that's what I get from him as well. I, I can tell how much this guy cares about mm -hmm. these issues. 100%. So talented. And it's, it's crazy. I don't know, like, if it's, I, I know it's not all of India that a lot of this is illegal. I know that. It's, it's, I, I think it's in certain states. I believe. Right, like the drinking situation. I could be wrong. Oh, well, we could, we could be totally wrong. Do you know? But for, no. for, for, from what I've seen, because we've reacted to a couple uh, <laughs> trailers that have to do with uh, homosexuality. Mm -hmm. and Which we still want to see those films. Yeah, uh, I, I think a guard, I think Rajkumar Rao was in one. Right, I think they said it's like it's not all of India; it's certain no, certain and like for states, I believe. And I as well, be we've heard when there's been when there's been films that depict homosexuality or transgenderism. So, for example, the Danish Girl, mm -hmm. or Call Me by My Name, mm -hmm. Call Me by Your Name. Uh, those films Rick. have <laughs> been Corbett. banned in places like Russia. Yeah, uh, I've never heard of that happening in India. It might, I don't know. Yeah, but I haven't heard it. And typically, we would we would hear about that stuff and know about it in the industry here when a country bans something over homosexual content or any kind of sexual content. It's usually China. Yeah. Nice pronunciation <laughs> there. It's it's usually China or Russia. That or they'll have the audacity. How dare you, sir, to actually clip some things from it? Yeah. And I think they did that with the Elton John movie in Russia. I think it was Russia that said, just well, don't, we'll let it in here, but we're gonna cup it. We're gonna go. Just don't take it. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, but yeah, this guy's hilarious. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> really. Billboards advertising blowjobs oh. have anal day. <laughs> my, I think my favorite moment. Oh, it's funny. Was when he said everything by saying nothing. Yeah. When he said, there's 1.2 billion people in India. <laughs> He's so talented. He's very talented. Has he done, because uh, we know he's hilarious and he can do acting in terms of comedy acting. Uh, has he done like a serious, I know he's on a show. I think it's yeah. called Whiskey Shrikan. something. Shrikan. I don't know if it's a serious one though, but it, like, uh, does he have like a, a serious side in terms of acting? Guarantee he does. Him? Guarantee he does. Um, yeah. I would like to see yeah. it. I would too, because somebody this good at comedy is going to be good at, at, at drama. Because that's, that's difficult. It's like if he, he'd be like a Steve Carell type yeah. almost. It is, but so it could be that funny. Yes. But then also be incredible as a series actor. Yes, but it's it's is all it rare. It's rare. It, no, it's always easier for comedians to fall into drama than it is for people who only do drama to do comedy. I comedy, know. comedy. I don't always agree. Comedy is always harder than drama. Cause, always. Because how how many dramatic actors are there that are great? I think there's less uh, good comedians. Than there are but comedians can fall into drama like that not every dramatic actor can do comedy I not don't I don't them. think comedians can do drama very well it's always a guarantee comedy is the hardest of all of the acting art forms. some there. people like but I don't think Jim Carrey's done very many good serious roles he actually hasn't taken on a lot of serious roles well, he has the eternal sunshine of the spotless mind was see the number 23 good. No, but Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind was pretty freaking fantastic. And then Will Ferrell, he's not. Yeah, have you seen, you're about to see what I'm about to say? Have you seen Daniel Day-Lewis in any comedies? 
No, I'm not saying they can do that. I'm saying it's not not as easy as you're saying it is for a comedian to go to drama. I think it's, it depends it's, on it's, the person. Because it I is, but that's why it's, it's what makes it so rare for me. Steve Carell, Robin Williams, yeah. and then very few others. No, the list of comedians who can fall, every single person who's fallen out of, now Will Ferrell hasn't done it because he's not interested in doing serious dramatic acting, but um, it, it is always easier for good comedic actors to fall into drama than it is for people who just do drama. Yeah, I think that that's to the thing. That it has to be really good comedians. Just just because somebody's funny sometimes doesn't mean they're a really good comedian. Correct. So if they're a good comedian and and I'm not they saying do they that with excellence, then I think yeah, I'm not saying they become Oscar level people. But you know, if you've seen Spanglish, you know Adam Sandler can do dramatic acting. He just doesn't do it a lot. I don't agree with you. <laughs> Did you see Spanglish? Yes. I thought he was very good in Spanish. I don't agree with you that okay. he can do dramatic. <laughs> I, thought like, he was, I thought he was solid in Spanish. I don't think he can do comedy a lot of times. But yeah, I, I do. His old style. I like Adam Sandler. Like, I think sometimes it's based on personal preference. Yeah, but across the board. Anyways, Virdas, let me know if he has, because I, I think he could probably do it. I mean, knowing him so far. Yeah. Uh, so I, he's, I think it, he has a show. It's called Whiskey Something. But uh, you know what it is.